there are probably millions if not billions of flies here man hopefully the camp has some mosquito nets because this is unbearable look at that the sun beautiful penetrating through the little hole there there he is <laughs> look at that I have no idea what he's doing I swear check how low he is happening everyone welcome back to another episode this time from Djibouti the country the small little country of Djibouti in Eastern Africa made it here last night on two flights from Ethiopia one to Diradawa and then one that got us here at seven o'clock in the evening in Djibouti haven't seen much just went last night has something to eat I'm gonna put some footage and stuff like that uh, from the cooking and the shower mind the nightlife just a few sequences so you can see it because we're gonna head out right now to Lake Abe so a five hour drive switch the camera around so I can show you guys a little bit of the city of Djibouti Djibouti the capital of Djibouti lots and lots of French architecture here even the breakfast at the hotel was very French a lot of pastries a lot of jams and so on but right now some guys are buying some souvenirs here i just went outside do a little intro of djibouti man it's gonna be a crazy ride here but yeah let's go and see what else we can find in djibouti what else we can discover it has some beautiful landscape we're gonna see a couple of lakes and then let's see what else we're gonna find along the way very very small country a lot of military bases here actually when i first got at the airport i uh took a little video made a little introduction but security guards came and they deleted my photos and videos So guys, the first glimpses of Djibouti, craziness everywhere. Stop to get a shawarma. Let's see what this guy has. What do you have? Chicken? Yes, chicken. Chicken, let me see. Mm, very good and spicy. Yeah, so this is nightlife in Djibouti. I'm gonna see more in a little bit. The city of Djibouti guys, this is the first view that we have of Djibouti, daylight. We actually just heard an airplane just going 10 meters from the building, that's insane. We were actually surprised, like what the hell is happening? And then we've seen it, didn't get a chance to film it, but uh, you never know. It just pops in your face, like you were just over that building flying near that mosque. But yeah, we're gonna go and have some breakfast and then head over to Lake I'll bet here. I'm still waiting. Hopefully this crazy guy's gonna come again. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Look at that. I have no idea what he's doing, I swear. Check how low he is. City life in Djibouti early in the morning. We have went to the embassy of Somaliland to take our visas. And now we're gonna make a few stops here and there. I'm at the supermarket. We stopped here at a I Love Djibouti sign right there at a postal office. And then we're gonna go and visit a little bit of the city before heading over to Lake Abe today and then tomorrow to Lake Azal. This is our car that's gonna be our home for the next couple of days. Yes, La Marie, La Marie. But uh, yeah, we're gonna drive quite a bit five hours and then another seven hours back before heading to Somaliland. So, but yeah, again, lots of people telling me no photos, no videos, and so on. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a little bit crazy, like I said, from the airport on, people are not very receptive here to photos. Check out this beautiful view of the mosque right there between the streets. Very, very nice. And of course, as a former French colony, you'll have a lot of stuff 
with Paris names, Paris signs, and a whole bunch of other things related with Mother France, if I can put it that way. Djibouti flag right there. Here's a perfect example of French colonialism architecture with the balconies. Big hotel right there in the back. And after 30 minutes in traffic here in Djibouti, we have made it to what we were told the first mosque in Djibouti, right here near the market. A lot of cops everywhere. But yeah, we're gonna film here and there what we can. Crazy life here in Djibouti, no doubt. Very, very crazy. Chaotic, everyone yells. Just like in Ethiopia, it looks like in Djibouti, it's the same. A lot of trucks on the side of the road. Ethiopian uh, trucks. Ethiopian trucks. Uh, sure, let's see the license plate. On the way to Abel Lake, stopped for a small bathroom break. We're at, who knows, right there after those mountains, it's Ethiopia. So, yeah, we're actually close to the far region where we have been previously if you have seen the previous episodes from ethiopia we've been to a far crazy desolated super hot region but now we're on the other side here in djibouti guys out of all the places djibouti this is how it looks this is our car luggage baguettes some trees here but yeah let's continue on we have another hour and a half or so before we leave before we reach lake abe made it all the way to the kill in Djibouti and found some IKEA plates made in Romania out of all the places I have the exact same style the exact same color back home Another small little break for a viewing point before reaching Lake Abe. Let's see how the panorama looks, but check out those cliffs right there. That's where it gets super, super interesting. And finally made it all sweaty, super, super hot inside the car, but we have made it probably 15 minutes where the camp is this is how the area looks like a whole bunch of chimney rocks in this region that's where the lake is can't see it very well from here but we're gonna head that way check out that spot right there but yeah we're gonna walk a little bit take some photos take some videos one important thing that I have to mention about this region a lot of quicksands so the car has to stay on certain paths cannot deviate too much because you're gonna get stuck and then just trouble afterwards so when you have so many rocks so many shapes you have to get creative just play around search for stuff like this the Sun beautiful penetrating through the little hole there let's turn the key to see how it looks this way boom let's go and see what else we can find around this region our guide is praying it's actually uh, close to Ramadan I think the Ramadan starts tomorrow for the Muslims so yeah, for them, it's going to be the last day where they can eat. More proof that this year has been quite rainy here in this region. Like I mentioned before, if you have seen the Ethiopian uh, vlogs, it was the first time in six years that our guides, the people that drove us there in Afar and Omo Valley said they have seen rain 
during this time and check out here in Djibouti just a few miles away the same thing we have beautiful green grass in a place where it's typical just dry and scorching scorching hot there is actually a hot spring here guys that is scorching scorching hot 95 to 100 degrees check out how the grass grows along the side one of the reasons besides the fact that they look like chimneys is because there is steam coming out of some of these where the hot springs are you can't see here very well but if you get a little bit closer and pay close attention on the middle right there you can tell a little bit of steam is coming out but yeah this is like i said 95 degrees to 100 celsius let me see i'll get close here so you can see the steam from this hot spring not from above check it out so there's actually a hot spring as well here and it's super scorching hot let's see musa will it melt will it melt 95 degrees Will it melt the bottle? You have some eggs? Yep. Uh, Check that out. For now. It's only taking yeah, I'm like sitting over there. the stream and you can tell the heat. <laughs> and this should have been the sunset point between the multitude of chimney rocks. But we got a patch of clouds right there we did get some outstanding photos definitely head over to instagram or my facebook to see a lot of flies guys i think you can see them in the video man i hate these i hate these flies we've seen them in ethiopia as well they gave us a headache so this is an interesting combination i don't know mud rock salt some spots check that out Yeah, very, very awkward, but just the shapes all throughout. Yeah, definitely should come to the sunset point directly. But man, the flies. There are probably millions, if not billions of flies here man hopefully the camp has some mosquito nets because this is unbearable look at that man so many flies i haven't seen like this in my life check that out so if at the beginning we had doubts because there was too many clouds well you never know especially in the desert. And here we have the most bubbling hot springs that we have seen so far in Djibouti. At sunrise, check that out, how beautiful it is.